Good morning and welcome to the Forex Daily Update brought to you by Pepperstone on Friday the 3rd of August 2018. I'm Darren Sindon and you can follow me throughout the day on Twitter by using at DS underscore Pepperstone. Right, let's take a look at the overnight changes and price moves to be aware of. A relatively quiet session overnight uh, in the uh, global foreign exchanges. I will just flag uh, two points here and that's really the divergence between uh, the Antipodean currencies, the Australian dollar making gains of 0.15% against its US counterpart, but the New Zealand dollar, the Kiwi, down by around 0.29% uh, against the uh, the greenback, not having a great day there. Uh, the dollar, for its part, as uh, dollar index back through that key 95 level as we see it, 95.13, uh, trading shortly before we recorded the video. The question, of course, is can it maintain um, the move above 95. Uh, in recent times, it's been unable to do that. Uh, plenty of data today that could influence the outcome of that decision. Uh, let's have a look at that now on the calendar. So what's on the calendar today? Events that may move the markets. Uh, it's a pretty busy calendar and we've already had uh, retail sales data out of Australia that came in slightly ahead of numbers, perhaps explaining uh, the strength in the Australian dollar. We had weaker Kaishin China Services PMI data for July, 52.8 versus 53.7, so something of a disappointment there. To come at uh, 7.15, GMT will have services PMI data out of Spain, and that'll be accompanied by consumer price index data from Switzerland. And then at 7.55, services and composite PMI data out of Germany, just ahead of the European-wide data at 8 a.m. GMT, so that's services and composite PMI data for July for the wider Eurozone and a chance perhaps to infer something from the German data just ahead of the Eurozone release. At 8.30 we'll have services data, PMI data that is for July out of the UK, of course services, the major part of the UK economy, around 80% of the economy uh, relies on services, uh, so it'll be interesting to see how that data fares after yesterday's Bank of England rate rise. And then to come at 12.30 uh, GMT, uh, the real meat on the bones today, the non-farm payrolls and unemployment situation report out of the US, uh, looking for around 190,000 new jobs as far as uh, payrolls are concerned, and for the unemployment rate to dip back down to 3.9% after a blip up to 4 in last month's figures. There'll also be, at the same time, the small matter of trade balance data for June from the US. Of course, trade very much at the forefront of the market's mind at the moment. And uh, uh, trade deficits, of course, uh, that the US runs with uh, countries like China will be very much in focus today. At 12.30 as well, we'll have international merchandise trade data for June out of Canada. And then at 13.45, another hard-hitting figure, an important figure from the USA in the shape of PMI data, composite services and ISM non-manufacturing PMI all out this afternoon. The two uh, market figures at 13.45 and the ISM number at 1400. And then if you're still in the market to round off the week at 1700, the influential Baker Hughes US oil recount and of course uh, alongside trade the question of where oil prices are heading is another one that's uh, very much in the market's mind and the Baker Hughes oil rig count can influence those prices. Okay then breaking news and comment that's caught my eye overnight and first of all China's renminbi yuan has fallen to new one-year lows versus the US dollar on trade concerns and those weaker services PMI numbers. The renminbi is not the only currency though that uh, is suffering. The Turkish lira has slumped against the US dollar, trading through five to the dollar as traders reacted to US sanctions on the country. Uh, and Turkey is in a real mess at the moment, and uh, one wonders where this situation will end up. Meanwhile, Apple's market capitalization breaks the one trillion mark in Thursday's trade, uh, eclipsing Amazon. And uh, this is the first time that uh, a company has been worth more than a trillion dollars. It's a uh, not a particularly meaningful benchmark, but, but certainly a sentimental one. Uh, and uh, the bragging rights, of course, uh, fall to the makers of the iPhone and Mac computers. OK, then, food for thought, something to take away with you into the trading day and beyond. And why not think about this? Following the FOMC earlier in the week, markets now believe there is a 93.6% chance of a September rate rise in the USA. Well, the question that I want to posit today is how will today's jobs and PMI data affect that view? Will it reinforce it or weaken it? Will it strengthen or weaken the dollar? And the chart here just shows the 
sort of balance of probabilities for the September Fed meeting, the next meeting, uh, and whether the rate right, the rates that the, the Fed base rates will rise from 175 to 200 basis points to 200 to 225 basis points. And if you can see, 93.6% of the market think that's the case. This was data as of early this morning. Uh, it'll be interesting to see uh, how that figure changes after this afternoon's economic figures. Uh, CME data, that CME FedWatch tool is a very interesting one and one worth checking out. Right, please take a moment to read the risk warning. Trading CFDs and foreign exchange on margin can be a risky business. If you're in any doubt about those risks or the suitability of leveraged products for you, then please do contact your Peverstone account representative and do take a moment to read this risk warning. Thank you for your time.